one away here in the second inning. The bases are loaded. Dale Murphy at third. Rafael Ramirez at second. Glenn Hubbard at first. The infield is back. If Benedict hits the ball on the ground, he has no running speed whatsoever. Sinker, and he lifted it back at first base. Durham in foul ground. Leon trying to get under it and does. Tagging is Murphy, but he draws the throw and holds. Good play by Murph to draw a throw, hoping that maybe Durham would throw it away, but he didn't do it. And he gave it a good start, and he forced Durham to throw that ball. You see Durham, when he makes the catch, he, he got in mind that Murphy's going to score. He slips as he starts to throw, and the ball kind of takes a funny bounce, and Davis has to backhand it. A lot of times you'll see a half-hearted attempt by the base runner, but Murphy gave it a good attempt. All right, Murphy is back at third. Ramirez at second, Hubbard at first. And I remember when we opened up the show, we told you that Rick Mailer is one of the better hitting pitchers in the league. He hit 296 last year with 21 hits. In fact, only, oh, I don't know, maybe Rick Roden of Pittsburgh is as good a hitter. Ball one. Or maybe even there are those who would say Roden is a better hitter. But you're talking about pitchers who are not up there taking automatic hacks. They represent a definite threat. So bases loaded, two out, second inning, no score. Fastball line to right. Moreland going back. It's over his head. Mailer's done it again. He's going to drive in three runs with a stand-up double. can sting the ball. Two and two. He has eight RBIs. In the center field, base hit. Now Mailer, who lined out to right, hit the ball hard his first time up, but right at the right fielder, Daryl Strawberry. Got around late on the fastball, 0 and 1 the count. 3 2 Atlanta, bottom of the fourth. First of a three game set with the New York Mets, who are trying to win their 10th game in a row. That's out of play. Nothing in two on Mailer. The last time a New York Met team won 10 in a row is back in 1976. The longest winning streak for the Mets in their history in an 11-game streak. They did it in 69 and again in 72. Well hit left center field. Going back for it, George Foster. He can't get it over his head, rolling off the wall. Oberkfell gets the green light around third. He will score easily. And down at second with a run scoring double is Rick Mailer. And that makes it 4 to Atlanta. Mailer's second RBI of the year. And that's the first extra base hit this year for a Braves pitcher. First time up, Mailer hit the ball hard, but right at the right fielder. This time, he got it between the fielders. And Obi scored all the way from first. And there's that first RBI of the year. Gant races home from third. It's a one-run game. Two out hits, and Mailer's hit two right on the button. This one just out of the reach of Walling at third, and Gant trots in. 
And Atlanta's back in it. A ball and a strike now on Mailer. Deion James will follow, and then Ken Obergfell. Here's the 1-1. One -one. There's a drive to deep left field. Aldredi going back. It is over his head off the wall. Mailer heads for second. Here comes the throw, and he slides in safely with a leadoff double. That's his second double of the year, and that's the first hit of the ball game for either club. I don't know why I should be surprised. Richard Croker said Mailer is going to lead off with a double. So I was expecting it. Hit that ball hard, got in the second ahead of the throw. See what Mailer can do here. Ryan inside, one ball, no strike. Now they play him way around toward right field. You wouldn't figure him to pull a hard thrower like Eckersley. If he should ever hit one down in the corner, he could run for a week. And he hits that one to deep left. Matthews can't get there. Well, he won't run for a week, but he'll run for a while. That's three doubles in the inning, and it's three to two. He is a good hitting pitcher, Rick Mailer. When we see the replay, I hope we can see the way the ball curves when it's in the air. That ball was slicing away from Matthews. He didn't have a chance. It was hit hard by Mailer. I mean, really hard, a low fastball. And that ball keeps curving away from Gary. And another double, and the Braves have closed the gap in a hurry. Five for 36 is a hitter. There's the bunt, and it goes foul. It took Ozzie Virgil a year to get acclimated with the Braves, but he's having the year that they thought he would have when they made the trade for him. 19 home runs, 38 RBIs. Pete, you're looking at a catcher who might hit 30 home runs, and not too many catchers ever do that. Earl Williams, the last to do it for Atlanta way back in the early 70s. He's swinging. Oh, it's going to be a base hit. A hit and run single. Hunter goes to third. Rick Mailer handles the bat. And Chuck Tanner loves that. When the pitcher can fake the butt and swing away and just chop a ground ball. Well, we've seen the Braves try this a lot this year. When the pitcher bats, they'll show bunt on the first pitch and then let him swing away. And it worked perfectly. Stillwell was breaking to cover second. Bell was charging in from third. The wide open left side of the infield. Rick Mailer got it there for a base hit. Mailer has his second base hit of the day. Almost in the same spot where the first one went. And the Braves have the go-ahead run at first with two outs. Fastball down the pike, and he just flipped the wrist, uh, knocked it in the left. Braves now with seven hits off of Ted Power. He is showing Bunt. And he takes a let up high and outside. He has become very proficient at showing the bunt and then taking a half swing and trying to drill it by one of the infielders. He could be doing that here. Naylor swinging, drills one deep left center field. Cruz going back. This ball's going to be up against. Ozzy Virgil will get the green light around third. Here comes the throw home. Virgil slides in quickly. And Rick Mailer has driven in the Braves' second run of the night. That is his fourth double and fourth RBI of the year. It's 2-0 Atlanta. Well, when you take the bunt off, you're liable to see a high fastball. Let's see if that's what Mailer got. They're thinking, well, it's a fastball again. Belt high right down the middle. Now, let's see if Virgil ever touched the plate here. He slid and sort of bounced. And I never saw Dave Fallone make a call. I guess with the other foot, he got the plate. Pena's first pitch. Drill the deep left field. Baker looks up, kisses one goodbye. See you later, Rick Mailer with his first major league home run. Why did he hit that one? Deep into the blue seat. Braves lead it seven to one. 
The fans are on their feet. Rick Bennett with a big smile gets a big handshake from Dal Maxwell. The high five from Rafino Linares. Boy, did he hit that. Four runs in the inning. And they're in hysterics in the Atlanta dugout, those that haven't fainted. He hit that ball. He almost drilled the chief up in his teepee. I'm in shock. Look at that dugout. They've gone berserk down there. We're going to look at it again at our monitor, folks. It was a fastball right down the chute, but I'll tell you what, this guy can throw hard. Baylor hit that one a long way. His first major league home run. He takes the ball. The fans love it. He gave him a couple of fours. That's the curve, and that's hit in the left field for a base hit. Rick Mailer is going to hold it first. Come on back here, Mr. Mailer. Looked like Rick was going to try for two, but look at him smile about it. Boy, there's nothing like a big lead, and you've completed five innings. The first hit allowed in his major league career is by a pitcher, Rick Mailer, who's a good hitter. A good hitter for a pitcher, batting 211, no home runs, seven RBIs for Mailer this year including three game winners. He is second on the Braves in game winning RBIs. Murphy has five of them and Mailer has three. Well if you believe in numbers or statistics the Astros are five and five on Friday so using that formula the Braves should at least win one of these games. Rick drills one to left field base hit. Mailer, there's a base hit right up the middle. Thomas will hold at second, and the Braves on Mailer's base hit now have the go ahead run at second with two men out for Albert Hall. Bounce toward the hole, base hit. Griffey will score. Rick Mailer with a single. Strong ground ball headed for right field. Base hit Mailer. Ramirez races for third. Mailer behind in the count 0 and 1. Lofts a little looper out into right center and that'll be in for a base hit. Cleveland with two more runs in the fourth. Lead Toronto now 4 0 bottom of the fish. Ron against. Clancy relieved by Mickey Mailer just called up and, and Dennis Lamp. There's a bouncing ball hit left field by Rick Mailer. He worked it through. Braves hit the road for the final three games of the season. In the left center field pretty well hit Eric Davis on the run can't get it. This ball goes up against the wall and Mailer has got himself a double. That's Rick's third double of the season. Is hit number three of the game for the Braves. Now, Mailer is a good hitter. He was 14 for 79 before this, but normally he doesn't hit him that far. And you're going to see a very fast guy, Eric Davis, but he can't outrun this. Down and through the wall and a double for Rick Mailer. Now, the pitcher, Rick Mailer, if you've been a Braves fan over the years, you know he handles the bat pretty well. This one will drop out of play, the count on one. A good athlete. He's a good golfer. Always starts out the year with one goal. He wants his earned run average to be lower than his batting average. That's a pretty good goal. You see a lot of pitchers in the National League who think just the opposite. I used to play with a guy named Rick Roden who used to get concerned if his batting average got under three, maybe more than if his ERA got over three. One ball, two strikes on Mailer, two down. Even though Tom Glavin did not have good numbers in his first start, even though John Smoltz was roughed up in his first start, starting pitching, not really the concern of the Braves as Mailer rips one in the left field for the fourth Cincinnati hit. For Mailer, his 100th career hit. So congratulations to Rick Mailer on his 100th major league hit. Nobody got the ball. 